Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a while, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I moved to a new apartment. That's why I've been a little bit MIA, and life has been just a little bit busy, but I'm back now, and for today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I painted our bathroom tiles. I just bought this kit from Home Depot online and decided to do it myself, and it was super affordable, and I love the way that it turned out. So if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I will be back with more home decor videos. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see how you can do your own DIY affordable painting bathroom tiles and then definitely just keep watching. Alright, so this is what the bathroom looks like before I painted it. As you guys can see, it's just a variety of colors. That back color is a white and then the sides color is a mixture of like a beige color and kind of like this light pinkish color. You can't really tell in the video, but it's a very odd color. And there's just a variety of tiles just mixed in together, so I really did not like that. But before I did start painting this bathroom, I of course got permission because again, this is a rental apartment bathroom, so make sure to ask for permission before doing anything all right so this is what it looks like when it's been done I love the way that it turned out I actually ended up painting only two of the walls and not that back wall by the tub because that wall was already pretty um, white to begin with so it did blend in pretty well um, so this is just what it looks like I love the way it looks it looks very professionally done it's not streaky or anything like that Alright, so moving on to the materials that you'll need for this DIY. All the materials that I got were from Home Depot besides the respirator mask and the goggles. So those were borrowed. So moving on to materials, what you need is a paint roller. This is a 3x4 roller. You want to make sure you get one that doesn't shed a lot. And then you also need a tray for the paint. Along with that, you'll need some gloves and then goggles to protect your eyes. Also, you need a synthetic brush. This is a one and a half brush. You also need some painter's tape and sanding paper, something a lot stronger than what I got. And then you also need some plastic drop sheets. And then the most important thing that you'll need for this DIY is a mask or a respirator mask if you have one because the smell from this paint is very, very strong. So if you guys have one of these masks, I really recommend using it. Alright, so this is the kit that I'll be using. It is from the brand Russ Oleum and it is their tub and towel refinishing kit. I got this online through Home Depot for a little bit under 30 bucks, so I'll leave that link down below if you guys are interested. Alright, so to begin, I'm just going to start taping off the area and I'm just going to use this painter's tape and just taping um, the wall just to make sure that none of the paint gets on the wall or the hardware or anything like that. You can definitely clean first and then start taping, but I just decided to start taping first. So I'm just going to cover anything that I don't want to get paint on because you want to make sure you cover that um, because anything that the paint gets on, it will not come off. So really make sure you do a really good job covering anything that needs to be covered. So I'm going to go ahead and start covering the hardware like the sink and the tub and anything like that. Once that's done, I'm going to take these plastic drop sheets and I'm just going to cut them to smaller sizes and start covering the sink and the tub and the toilet. I'm just going to use that uh, tape that we use and just going to help secure that onto the sink and the plastic drops. Here I'm just taking a smaller piece and just covering part of the tub just to make sure that if anything drips onto it, it doesn't stick onto the tub. So this is what it looks like when it's been done taped and covered with plastic sheets. We're going to go ahead and move on to cleaning. Alright, so moving on to cleaning, I did do a lot of research before using this kit. A lot of people really recommend cleaning the towels very, very well, especially with very harsh chemicals like Comet. And that's what is stated on the towel kit as well. So I'm just using this sandpaper and just sanding down the towels first. However, this um, grit for the sandpaper was really, really weak, so it actually didn't do anything at all. So I ended up throwing away the sandpaper and I actually just used a damp cloth and just wiped down the towels because they're really dirty. So basically I skipped the whole cleaning portion, um, but I really recommend you getting the right, um, uh, what is it, sandpaper and sanding it down and cleaning it, but really it's your preference. I still really like um, the outcome and so I'm just going to go ahead and just wipe down these tiles. Alright, and then before we start painting, we really want to make sure that our area is very well ventilated. So you want to make sure all the windows are open. And I actually clipped on a little fan here just to create some circulation within the bathroom. 
Next, we're going to start with our first coat of paint, but before that, you want to make sure that you put on your mask, goggles, and gloves to protect yourself. So following the instructions of the kit, I'm going to pour part A into part B, and then I'm just going to start to mix that. I'm just using the back of this brush here, and you really want to make sure you mix this very, very well because um, even the first five minutes of mixing this, it was still very, very liquidy, and like when I pulled up the paintbrush, there was like chunks of uh, paint on the bottom of the paintbrush here, so really want to make sure that you uh, really mix this very well so that it becomes more of a thicker like paint consistency all right next we're just gonna start painting I really have no technique when I'm painting I just try to go over the same spot maybe like two or three times um, but it's really good to have the skinnier and smaller brush because you can get into these smaller spaces and so you really don't want to get one of those really big brushes that you use to paint like walls in the house or anything like that also go ahead and use that smaller synthetic brush to get in between spaces that you can't get with that roller brush like any corners or small crevices. Alright so this is what it looks like once it's been painted the first coat. You want to let it dry completely before moving on to the second coat. Um, it did look really weird to be honest because there's like a lot of splotches and um, smears like this. I think that's because originally the first rolls were very liquidy that's why it looks kind of like that but don't worry at all once the second coat goes on top it looks totally totally fine so moving on to the second coat basically you just want to keep going and doing the same thing just roll over um, that first layer and then again using that synthetic brush to get into smaller spaces like the corners and anything like that so we're just going to go ahead and continue to apply our second coat Alright, once the second coat is on, you want to let that dry completely for at least three days before getting it wet or using this bathroom at all. Maybe even longer because the scent is still very strong. But before that, I did decide to go and take off the tape. You can totally wait um, for the paint to dry and then take off the tape, but I was just very impatient. Also, I did read reviews that once it dried and people took off the tape, it did chip off a little. That's why I'm just taking off the tape while it's still wet, but it's totally up to your preference. So this is what it looks like once it's done. I just love the way it looks. It just looks so professionally done. And I love the finish of this paint. It's like a satin finish, so it still looks like tiles. And this is what it looks like up close. As you can see, there's no splotchiness or streakiness or anything like that. So I do hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you guys are not subscribed yet, make sure to click that subscribe button. And I will be coming back with you with another video on how I decorated this bathroom. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time time.